Hey, my name is Ralph. I'm a Flex Film, and I have behind me a glass mobile pillboard. We recently built it. A lot of people have been asking about it. In this video, we're going to show you, you know, what we're doing with it and how we built it. Maybe you can build one for yourself. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm in the Flex Film tent studio and we recently discovered a need and our need was that we needed a, a mobile pillboard glass. You see, we can't pull a car in here, but we have all these props, all these doors and back windows, hatches, things like that. And you know, of course we wanted a pillboard so that we could do our videos and Facebook Live and anything we want to do in here where we can have a, a nice place to demonstrate. So we created what's behind me right here. And a lot of people have been asking about it, you know, and I've started to realize, hey, this thing is kind of cool, you know, but what we did is actually something that you might be able to use in your own shop. We're using it in the studio, but um, I wanted to kind of go over what it is and how we did it. And the first thing I want to point out is the uh, dimensions of it. It's about four by six. That was a, a really the perfect size. I didn't want anything really bigger, and of course, I didn't want anything any smaller. Uh, we wanted to try to build this thing as economically as possible, so we mainly uh, built it out of two by fours, and we built literally two frames, because I got a glass here and there's a glass behind me, and um, I, I chose to use the um, double strength glass, which is plate glass, and it can be kind of dangerous. I could have used tempered glass, it's a lot more expensive, not that much, but um, you know, it would have been probably overkill. It wasn't necessary. I have a good glass company that I work with. They deliver the glass and they put it in. I've also um, decided to use these tracks I bought at Home Depot uh, to actually nail to the bottom of this thing where you see. And uh, we literally just slid the glass in it. I put a little soap in it and it's, it's really, uh, really secure. Uh, I decided that I wanted the height of this to be about where my nose is. I wanted it to be kind of in the, you know, in the middle of everything. If you're really tall or shorter, you, you could certainly adjust that. We also used a three quarter inch plywood on the edges to sort of tie everything together. Everything here is screwed together. We've also used some small two by four uh, braces in the corner so this thing wouldn't rack. Um, you know, the glass itself provides structure, but we didn't have anything on the sides, you know, holding the glass, so we needed to add the structure in the middle with the with the braces. Now we bought the caster wheels at Home Depot. Um, we could have gotten some larger ones or some smaller ones. I just was comfortable with that size. I looked at the weight and see now I've got a pill board here and it, it, we painted it black. It's really cool. Um, I can see through it and, and, and I've even got a little um, I guess a holster that we made out of shelf material that we bought at Home Depot and we got a, a, a drill and we used that you put drill in the door to, to put a door doorknob in. We use that to drill the hole for the heat gun. Uh, I, I could do a lot more with this actually. This is kind of a base model. You know, we could, we could take this glass right here and we could put some, some white frost or white out film behind it. We, we could paint it white for contrast, uh, both sides. It, it, we could put a light inside this thing. I mean, the sky's the limit. I'm sure you could put other attachments on this for tools hanging. You could go all, all over the place with this. This is kind of where we stopped. It was very basic. We chose to make it transparent because it, it really does better with videos. Like for example, my, my tool wall behind me is kind of cool. You can see it. If this thing was whited out, uh, you couldn't see that. So this is uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you could do, how you could build one and um, maybe this could inspire you to build your own in your shop because if you're certainly in a situation where you're needing to move this thing around like I am with these props or you're may, you may want to move it around with your cars, this is a pretty cool board. Um, it, people ask me how much it costs. I don't have a, a solid figure in my head, but I can say it was under $300. Uh, it depends on if you want to pay somebody or not, but you know, you can get this, this kind of glass right here for you know, probably not much more than hundred dollars if you go with the plate glass. Now I say over time you're going to scratch this glass, and you're also going to scratch the more expensive tempered glass equally, and they will have to be replaced at some point. So I opt to use the less expensive glass because I can replace it more often and not have to worry about you know huge expense. But you know, use use your own judgment. The plate the plate glass can be dangerous if it ever breaks. The tempered glass is safety glass, and it'll always protect you if you ever break it. Um, this is the mobile pill board and uh, thanks for watching and I hope this has inspired you or helped you in any kind of way. Uh, good luck with it.